Hey, guten Tag, oder guten Abend, my friends. Um, Alex here. I'm going to do a, uh, another series of vlogs on the German national uh, football team. As you guys know, I am a big uh, hardcore fan of the German national uh, football team. Um, but uh, yeah, this series I'm doing now for vlogs is going to focus on Germany during the Euro 2012 tournament taking place in the Ukraine and Poland. Um, today is the the second day of the Euro. Um, day number one that that involved uh, Greece versus Poland, which was a very um, it was an interesting game. I'm surprised Greece pulled out a win because they were playing with only ten men in the second half. Um, but it made it made it very exciting though. And then the game after that was Russia versus the Czech Republic, and I I can't believe the Czechs lost four to one. Against the Russians, I mean, I know the Russians were good. Of course, they're good if they made it to the to the Euro, but I really thought the Czechs could have easily beaten the Russians until until I saw the game. Of course, um, the Russians are really good. I was really surprised by that. Um, today, this was uh, Germany's group, and this involved um, well, of course, there's Germany versus Portugal, and then the first uh, game, which started in the United States. Eastern Standard Time around 11-ish, 11.30-ish, whatever. That involved um, Denmark and Holland, and I was really surprised by that game. Um, Holland's this very uh, big uh, football country. Like, it doesn't have a very big population, but they are known for having really skilled players. But, um, oh yeah, by the way, if, if you don't want to get, you know, get spoilers for the for the Euro, don't, don't watch this video, because I'm going to give you all the scores I can. But yeah, Denmark won. Um... It's kind of crazy because Holland dominated possession of the ball, but uh, Denmark scored in the uh, 23rd or 26th minute. I forgot. It was, um, what's his face? Uh, I'm going to look at my notes, sorry. It was uh, Krohn Deli, that was his name. Um, he shot it underneath the legs, between the legs of the, the Dutch goalkeeper. That was a crazy goal. And um, I couldn't believe the, the Danes actually held on to that to that 1-0 lead the entire game because the Holland, they were just dominating possession. And they, they created a lot of chances, but they but they, they just couldn't convert. And honestly, I thought Van Persie did a really horrible job in that game. Like, he was given at least two, like, free goals that he should have scored, but he would mishandle the ball and, well, I, I think they should have brought, I think they should have substituted Van Persie in the second half. Um, but they stuck with him. And because of that, well... Many factors led to uh, the Holland losing that game, but um, yeah, that, that's a crazy that was a crazy result because I think most people expected Holland to win that, not Denmark. Um, so uh, let's talk about the uh, the Germany game, Germany versus Portugal. Uh, these guys played um, in the in the World Cup. Uh, Germany won three two. That was a very uh, very high scoring game. I thought, I mean, you know, considering it's soccer, but uh, let's talk about the. Let's see what do we got here. I got a bunch of notes, and I yeah I I wrote in the back of this uh, Quaker oatmeal cereal box thing. All right, so the referee was uh, Lenoy. He was from France. Um, this is the youngest German team since the 1930s. Um, they might be young, but all those players are very skilled. Like lots of caps per player, um, especially like Philip Lahm, um, uh, Schweinsteiger. He has a lot of caps. Podolski a lot of caps. Kloza, um but let's see here. Uh, there were ten thousand Germans in attendance in the stadium. This was this took place in the Ukraine, and um, it was also Close's birthday. Kind of kind of crazy because I Close it didn't even start. Um, but let's see, Germans they had a very good uh, like possession of the ball. Um, but the first half they didn't really um, threaten the the Portugal uh, goal that much. Like they had a lot of chances. Like let's see the first. Minute and 20 seconds, Gomez had a header. Um, almost nine minutes into the game, Podolski almost... He did something. I, I wrote down his name for some reason. Um, yeah, around the 18th minute mark, uh, it was uh, like shown that Germany had 62%, 62 percent possession of the ball. Um, but as in the first game with Holland and Denmark, I guess possession doesn't mean anything if you can't convert. So in the first half, Germany could not score... Um, like, they would, they would control the ball for a long time, but once they got to the, uh, Portugal side of the, of the defensive line, like, they would just give the ball right back to Portugal, like, they had no ideas. Like, they were going too slow with the ball, like, the build-up, all the passing, it was just too slow. Um, second half, they had a lot more chances. Um, 
I, mean, I, I guess there were some first, there were some pretty good uh, chances in the first half. Let's see. Uh, Podolski had a nice shot in the 30th minute, but he kind of shanked it over the uh, over the goal. And um, around the 39th minute, there was a lot of uh, there were like three consecutive crosses from the Germans, and it's, they missed every single time. Um, let's see anything else to talk about. Uh, Portugal got some chances too. They, they hit the crossbar in the first half from from Pepe, and like it was argued that it, it crossed the line, but the ball has to completely cross the line in order for it to count as a goal, but I was really scared when I saw the ball kind of roll underneath the goal post, but on the instant replay, you can see that the ball doesn't completely go over the line, which is the prerequisite for, for a score to be counted. Um, let's see, second half, let's see here, anything anything good happening? Well, um, of course, I Gomez scores, finally, what? What minute was this? In the 71st minute, Gomez finally scores a header. But I was kind of uh, perplexed by this because, like, Mueller and... Well, mainly Mueller. He kept providing crosses into the uh, into the center of the box. But um, without Kloza, who was still on the bench, like, all those crosses were going over. Like, they were being converted. I think Kloza would have been the man to put into that kind of situation. But Kloza did not come in until the uh, 79th minute, where that would give him about 11 minutes to score. That's kind of hard. Um, but I'm not sure what the reasoning was for starting Gomez and not Kloza, but I think Kloza would have converted all of his shots, I think. Well, at least most of them. But uh, Gomez, you, you got to give it to him. He was the hero of the match for scoring that the, the, lone, the lone goal in this entire match. So, yeah, I'm not going to take anything away from Gomez, but I think the coach should have started uh, Kloza. I mean, Kloza just seems more threatening whenever he has the ball, or especially when the Germans cross the ball into the air. Um, uh, what else? Oh, Boateng. Some people, I was, I was reading the German, um, I don't know, what it was, some German comments page. A lot of people were complaining about uh, about Boateng starting and not like Mertesacker. But uh, Mertesacker did a really good, I'm sorry, Boateng did a really good job of neutralizing uh, Ronaldo. Um, he made a few professional fouls, and for the most part, he, he, he stopped uh, Ronaldo, he shut him down, and he kept him pretty much silent for, for most of the game. Uh, Ronaldo still had a lot of chances. Um, Boateng did get a yellow card eventually, but this is against Portugal, guys. Portugal is a very, uh, very skilled uh, football country, so a 1-0 win is the same as a 2-0 win against Portugal, I think, unless it comes down to... to uh, point differential, which I hope it doesn't come down to for the first group. But the fact that Holland lost the first round and Germany won against Portugal, I think this makes Germany's chances for advancement very likely. So Germany just has to beat Denmark and even tie Holland. Or I, I think Germany is pretty secure in, in getting through, considering that Holland lost. Like, no one expected Holland to lose to Denmark. Um, crazy match. Uh, what else? Uh, Ronaldo is a very skilled player. But as I said, Boateng did keep him pretty much silent for most of the game. Um, if you guys watch ESPN, like my fellow Americans, uh, you would have seen uh, Mikhail Balak as one of the uh, the co-hosts. Like um, he wasn't one of the commentators, but like in between like halves, you can see Balak, um, you know, shooting the crap with uh, with what's his face, um, Lawless. Like they were just talking about the game, but uh, it's kind of heartbreaking to see Balak you know, not playing in the game, because he's still young, and he's still a great player. He's, like, in, in modern times, I'd say Bollock's one of my favorite uh, German players. Um, but he was not playing, of course. He's, uh, I guess, retired from the national team. Um, so that's really about it. I just want to talk about the game. Um, what were your thoughts on the game so far? Not just Germany and Portugal, but, like, let's say Greece, Poland, uh, Czech Republic, Russia. Were you surprised by that game? And also, Denmark, Holland, we surprised by that game. And uh, your thoughts on Germany, Portugal. Um, that's it. And um, for all my fellow fans of the German national team, I want to say, hey guys, uh, congratulations on the, on the win. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this because Portugal is very tough. And um, that's it. I am looking forward to, to next, next Wednesday, the 13th. That is Germany versus Holland. That's going to be a really good game. Very big rivalry. Um, who do you think will win this game? 
Um, just because Holland lost the first game doesn't mean anything. Like, they had a really good team. It, it just, it was their finishing that kind of failed against Denmark. And also their back line was kind of weak. But uh, germany Hall will be a very good match. I look forward to it. Um, I'll see you guys later. Put your thoughts in the comments section. I'll try to respond when I can. See you guys later.